doing well. Very good afternoon to you all. It is absolutely stotting down the rain outside. But um, Newcastle United play tomorrow night, eight o'clock kickoff in the uh, most important game. So tomorrow night's game. We have dipped back again down to the bare bones. Um, fingers crossed that um, we can get something from the game. I.e. we can progress into the, the last 16, which is a knockout stage. Many people have said that... They want us to basically concentrate more on the Premier League. I disagree. I think we are fighting on all fronts and I believe that Newcastle United as a club moving forward we need to be fighting on as many fronts as is humanly possible now yes it's hard it is hard it was hard watching the game the other day when we went down to London and got thrashed for one but we, what you got to remember is this at the end of the day We're in the Premier League, which is the hardest league in the world. And we are we're down to the bare bones. There's no question of that. We are down to the bare bones. So you, our younger players are going to have to step up to the plate and prove to Eddie Howe and Jason Tyndall that they can go out there and do it. Because better times are coming. And that is within the space of one month. So we've just got to get through until January. And that's going to come very, very fast. Now I think we're going to be playing... A lot of games in between now and January. But I still have a belief in my heart that we're seventh as I speak right this moment. And I believe we can stay within the top ten until the January window reopens and then we can recruit better players for the squad now many people have said how we're going to be asking for uh, loans from Saudi Arabia I don't think that's going to happen I really don't think that's going to happen I think we're going to go out and we're going to spend wisely and we're going to get the fringe players who your likes of um, your Matt Ritchie's etc. They're going to go on to pastures new because we need squad numbers. So that's my thoughts as we head into the Christmas period. Oh. So, tomorrow night, I'm going to go for a 2-0 at St. James's Park. And I'm going to go for Callum Wilson and Alexander Isaac. And... I'm praying, I'm crossing my fingers 
I get it right. Because we need all hands at the pump. And that's the main thing as we move forward. We've just got to make it across to New Year with what we've got. And then from New Year, we build a team to push all the way through to the end of the season. And I think we can do it. And judging by what happened last year, would you back against me? Don't think so. Pardon me. We have a lot of players who are taking up numbers in our squad. So it is now time for Eddie Howe and Jason to be saying to those players, thanks for your service, but we need new blood. And that's what I think is going to happen. There's going to be some very hard games. But they're all hard. I mean, the last two matches against Everton, against Spurs, our players were absolutely knackered because there was no, um, no substitutions and basically nobody else to come in to fire us forward. You know what I mean? We are... But we're in that dodgy place where no team wants to be in. But, moving forward, I believe that Newcastle United will still be in the top half of the table. And then, come the end of January, we will be pushing hard to get into the top five so if you agree smash the like and spread the word because my channel is just going one way and that is it so thanks very much for watching